spread the toes, press your heel down. What that will do is, if you look at my posture, this is my normal posture, and as soon as I spread my toes and press the heel down, what happens is there is a lock comes itself without me doing this. I don't need to do this. When I press the heels, press the heel, spread the toes, now you look at me, here is the banda. Nice banda, banda means lock, abdomen is lock. And that is our basic posture. You close your eyes and focus onto your spreading toes and pressing your heel down. Roll your shoulders up back and down. Maintain the basic posture and bring your palm together at the heart center. We will chant OM together, one. Take a long deep breath. Bring the hands by the side. Now breathe, inhale into your abdomen, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now come on the front of the mat. Now inhale, bring your arms up, exhale, bend forward, bend your knee if you need to, all the way, and bring the hands on the ground, then lift your hips, feel the stretch in the back of the legs, relax your neck, keep breathing, And with each breathe out, give further deeper stretch onto the back of your legs by lifting your hips a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Then inhale, bring your right leg back, knee down, toes down. Lift your body up, balance. And bring your arms up. Either stretching but keeping the shoulder down or hands apart. Breathe. Then inhale. Hold the breath. Bring the hand down. Both legs back. Body in a straight line. Exhale. Hold. Now inhale. Exhale, knee, chest, chin down, hips up. Make sure your elbows are close to your chest, close to your body. Toes tucked, hips up, chin on the ground. Then you can flat down the body. Inhale, push with your hands, arch your back. And here you want to make sure that your shoulders are not like this, but relax shoulder and elbows by the side. Then inhale, exhale, downward dog. Push your hips up. And now let's work one leg at a time by moving one leg bent and one leg stretched so that we can give the stretch easily, deeper stretch to one leg at a time. It's easier for beginners. Chest towards the ground, hips towards the ceiling, heel can be on the ground or lifting up, depends 
how tight your hamstrings are, shoulder open, and look between your feet. And inhale, right foot forward, 90 degree, angle to ankle and knee joint. Close down, bring your body up, and bring your arms down. And in this point, if you are feeling any tension in your knee, then make sure prepare a pillow or a blanket, folded blanket, and you can put under your knee that will be helpful and not feel pain. And inhale, hold the breath, and down, both legs forward, exhale, chest to the knee, either chest to the knee or you can bend the knee and lifting, keeping the chest on the knee and lifting the hips up, lifting the hips up, giving the stretch to the back of your legs, Inhale, bring your arms up and exhale, release. Come down. That is half round. Now we will do the same on the left side. Inhale, bring your arms up. You can bend also if you want to give further stretch to the back. Exhale, bend forward. Bend your knee if you need to chest on the knees and then lift your hips up inhale exhale left leg back knee down toes down bring your body up once you balance bring your arms up Inhale, hold the breath, and down, both legs back, body in a straight line, exhale. Now inhale, exhale, knee chest, chin down, hips up. Flat down the body, inhale, upper top. Exhale, downward dog. Stay and breathe. Keeping your hips up, shoulder relaxed, looking at your feet and breathe. And inhale, left foot forward, knee down, close down, bring your body up, balance, and then bring your arms. Then inhale, hold the breath and down. Exhale, both legs forward, chest to the knee. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, release. Second round. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Chest to the knee. Make sure your back remains straight. So you don't want to punch. You don't want to do this. You want to keep your chest away. Bring forward, upward. Chest is touching the knee first. Head is following. Hips lifting up. By doing that, you're giving stretch the back of your legs. Right leg back. Knee down. Toes down. Push your hip down a little bit and body up and bring your arms up shoulder down and down both legs back or in a straight line exhale knee stretching down hips up up 
Lie down the body, inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward, inhale, knee down, foot down, body up, and bring your arms up. And down, both legs forward, exhale, chest to the knee. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, ready. Left side. Bring your arms up, exhale, going forward, chest to the knee, left leg back, knee down, toes down, bring your body up, arms up, and down, both legs back, body in straight line. Exhale, either Chaturanga or knee chest chin down. So knee chest, knee chest chin down, then keep doing the same or Chaturanga like this. You pushing down and inhale, upper dog or Cobra as previously. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot forward, knee down, bring your arms up. And down, both legs forward, chest to the knee. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, ready. Shake your leg. And open your leg about one meter and ten centimeter. Check your feet in one line. So it should be not un, un, not aligned, yeah. Like a little bit that you don't notice. So make sure it's aligned. Bring your hands onto your waist. Then rotate your right foot out. Halfway heel, halfway toe. Right. So we're not doing this because when you do this, what happens? You see it's turning. Whereas we do halfway heel, halfway to remaining this area straight. Still pointing navel forward. Then arms to the shoulder level, inhale. Exhale, bending towards the right, keeping the chest up. And left on towards the ceiling. Now you can see this hand is hanging. At the same time, my foot to hand is in one line. So foot, head, and hand. Not forward. Keep the chest back towards the ceiling. And still continue to hang. That means I'm using my side muscles to do this asana. This is a posture that is working for the side. Back to the center. Chain the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Anytime you're doing a posture, asana, you need to do it in a way that you still can breathe. So if you push too much, where you start to feel not too much breathing, that's not good. So adjust and relax so that you can still have the breathing going properly. Back to the center. Now rotate your right foot out, left foot in. Balance. Bring your hands onto your waist. And you want to press your heel down, but that also depends if you are completely bigger. You can lift your heel up. Perhaps your ankle joints still need to work out before you can press the heel 
you can lift the heel up, bend the knee here, and then you squeeze the toes, and then spread the toes as you unbend the knee. I can press my heel down, but if you can't, you can keep doing this, and you can put a pillow, or I'm sorry, a, a block under your heel there. So it would look like this. Like this. But I don't need, so. Okay, once you are there, bring your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, bend forward. Bring the hand on the knee, chest up, and then exhale, down. Exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, down. Stay. So you can be, if you are complete beginner here, a little bit more intermediate here, a little bit more intermediate here, advanced here, you stay there. Good. Bring your hand back onto your waist, come back, change your leg. Right foot in, left foot out. Do the same. You can lift the heel if you need to, bend the knee, squeeze the toes, and unbend, or bend, unbend the knee as you spread the toes out. That will make you nice and grounded and you won't fall. And inhale, exhale, bend forward with your right hand on the ground on the shin bones or knees and as you exhale going forward 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 good bring your hand onto your waist a bit and open your leg wider about one meter 40 centimeter if you are taller then one meter uh, 50 centimeter depending on the body length according to that your leg has to be wider so for me it's about one meter and 35 centimeter rotate your right foot out bend your right knee press the left foot onto the ground the toes are spreading for heel and Heel pressing, toes are spreading, and bring your arms out. The knee and ankle in 90 degree. You are opening this area at the same time the arm, like this. So you will be opening. Back to the center, chain the leg, right foot in, left foot out. And bend the knee, toes spread, heel down, and open. Look forward, breathe. Back to the center. Now bring the legs slightly close to each other. So about one meter, 10 centimeter. Bring the hands onto your waist. And inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, bend forward. Bending forward, forward. If you do have blocks, and if you are beginner, go ahead, place them in front. At this moment, bring the hand either on the waist, or you can bring the hand onto the block. But if you are intermediate, you can go ahead, place the hand on the ground, take support of the gravity and keep going forward. Keeping the back straight, chest out. But if you're beginner, hands onto your blocks. Finger pointing like this so that you can use the hand to bring your chest up. Neck and spine still remain the same, so neck is not going forward. Chest goes forward, neck follow. Good, now bring your hands onto your waist, look up, inhale. Exhale, inhale, come back up. 
Now interlock your fingers on the back, like this. And inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, and forward. Keep breathing. Good. Bring your hands onto your waist. Look up, inhale. Exhale, inhale, come back up. And back to the front of your mat. Or center of the mat for my case so that you can see me. Then your hip, your feet about hip wide open. Put your focus somewhere on the ground. That will help you balancing. Bring your hands onto your head, interlock your fingers. And inhale, lift your body all the way up, stretching, tadasana, balancing, controlling your mind to balance your body, connecting the mind and body at this point. We're doing yoga, the union to mind and body. Good. Exhale down. Shake the leg. Three pose. Bring chasana. So balance onto the right foot. Bring your left leg up onto your thigh. Again, focus somewhere. Arm together. And once you're ready, inhale. Bring your arms up. And show down. Exhale down. And change your leg, balancing onto the left foot, right foot onto the left thigh. Make sure you're not pushing, you're keeping this area straight. You're using the core, the bandha, to keep the body up straight. So whether the leg is there and it's just touching, it's not pressing. So you are balancing on, on the leg, on this leg. So this body remains as it is, only the leg is touching there. Come together. And inhale, bring your arms up. Shoulder down. Good. Bring your hand down, exhale. Shake your legs. Natrajasan. Dancing Shiva. So again, come onto the right foot and balance onto the right. Bend your left knee. Hold the left ankle. Inhale, right arm up. And with exhale, bend forward. Exhale, release, change your leg, left foot, bend your right knee, left arm up, inhale, exhale, bend forward. Exhale, release, shake your leg. Now, if you do have a block, that is going to be very helpful right now because the pose that we are doing now is going to be needing this. So, place the block or a stool or something that you can put your hand on in front for about one feet away from you. After that, come onto the right foot, palm together, lift the left, left leg up, 
Exhale, kick the left leg back, arms out. If you are a beginner, you can keep your leg down and then as you exhale, bring leg up, more up, more up, more up. And then bring the right hand onto the block, the left hand towards the ceiling. You want to kick the leg all the way as if you're kicking and left arm towards the ceiling. Good, come down, chain the leg, you can place the block at the sides, left foot about one feet away from the block, come onto the foot, arm together, right leg up, inhale, exhale, kick the leg back, kick, 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 kick. as much as you can, and then stretch legs out, the hands out and then once you're ready bring the left hand onto the block and try to lift the leg more up and kick the leg as much as you can without feeling any pain or tension and then left arm towards the ceiling you can keep looking on the ground for now because this, this might be more challenging for balance and once you feel that yes you are balanced now very slowly turn around your head towards the ceiling but if you can't turn in your head towards the ceiling keep looking down or to the side find the balance good come down shake your leg and sit down Sit on your sitting bones and if you have rope that would be good but if you not not arranged yet then maybe next class you can arrange one. So you're going to take the rope around the feet, lift the chest up and then stretch your legs out. But if you don't have rope, let me show you how to do that. And you bend the knee, bring the hand on the ground, take support of the gravity to lift your chest up and then stretch legs out. And then bring your hands onto your knees. You want to keep this, maintain this posture and then go forward, exhale forward, exhale forward, stay there. Now with each exhalation, try to go a little more far, further forward if you can. Good, now bring your hands forward, up and down. Bring the hands on the ground by the side of the buttocks, bend your knees, about hip wide open feet, then inhale, lift your hips up, head back, breathe, exhale down, Stretch your legs out again, shake them, then bend your right knee, bring the right knee by the side of the left knee, like this. This is uh, my favorite posture because this posture, the more you do, the younger you become. So hold your left leg, the right leg with your left hand, left foot active, active, then right knee in the back, inhale, lift your chest up and with exhale, twist to the right. This is for beginner. If you are intermediate, you could interlock your fingers and 
twist furthermore and if you are advanced then you bring the hand around the foot like this and around the knee bring the hand under the knees like this interlock your fingers lift your chest up and exhale twist to the right With each exhalation, you want to twist furthermore. If you are beginner, keep the hand here and twist. Exhale back to the center and keep going to the other side a little bit for gently counter stretch. Good. Come back to the center and stretch legs up. Bend your left knee. Bring, bring by the side of the right knee. Grab with your left, right hand. Left hand goes on the back. Inhale, lift your chest up. With exhale, twist all the way to the left. If you are intermediate, bring the hand a little bit around. Lock the fingers and try to go further. Make sure that you are still feeling easy. Whenever you, whenever you start feeling unease, come out and do what is feeling easy. If you're intermediate or if you're advanced, bring the hand to interlock your finger or hold the wrist. Inhale, exhale, twist all the way to the left. Good. Come back to the center and keep going to the other side all the way to give counter stretch. Good. Back to the center. Stretch your legs out. Keep the feet together. Now make sure that this don't move. Try to not move that as we bring the hand to the side in the back. Then inhale and exhale. Try and bring your forehead to the ground. Back up. On the side. Back up. One more time. To the other side. Other side. Come back up. Shake your leg. And bend. Join the sole of the feet together. Like this. Hold with your hands. And lift your chest up. All the way. Chest up. Then shake your legs, shake your knees. Go ahead, close your eyes. Good. Gradually stop. Now hold your big toe with your two fingers. Inhale. Lift your chest up, exhale, hunch completely and try to bring your forehead to the toe. Inhale, come back up. And stretch your leg out. Take your right leg into your hands. Inslog your fingers if you can. Or else. Hold this way and then lift your chest up. It's very important that you lift the chest up and you don't do this. You don't want to be doing this because you're hurting your back. So you want to keep your uh, back straight. The more your chest higher, 
the more you will feel on your hips anyway. So this is the best that you keep chest up. Back straight, shaking, rocking your baby, making her to fall asleep. Now let's give a good kiss to the baby as it sleep. Okay, chain the leg. Shake and rock your left leg, giving the stretches for your hips. Good. Now give a good kiss to the baby. To this one also. Okay. Now shake your leg one time and sit into the squatting position. Come into the squatting for the crow. Bring the hands on the ground. Roll of the crow. So the way you put your hand is fully open. Put down and then it cannot move you see it's uh, nice and tight there and then lift your hips up so that your knee comes behind your upper arm and then back rock forward and backward forward and backward to make sure everything is okay wrists are fine strong enough to not fall once you're ready inhale hold the breath lifting one leg at a time both legs up. Keep breathing. Exhale down and lie on your abdomen. Stretch your arms out, forehead on the ground. And inhale, bring your right hand, left leg, and back up. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg, left hand, right leg, head up. Exhale down. And let's try both hands, both legs. Exhale down, bring your hands under your shoulder, so make sure that you palms right under your shoulder, elbows close to your body, inhale, push with your hands, lift your head up, shoulders up, chest up, Arch your back. Now, we tend to do this. So if you're doing that, make sure you're relaxing your shoulders and tucking your elbows by the side. Head back. Because by doing that, I'm using now my back muscles and it's kind of easy and hold longer. Exhale down. Now bring your hands under your body. Chin out on the ground. Then inhale, right leg up. Exhale down. Left leg up. Exhale down. Right leg, right leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg. Exhale down. Bring your arms out, forehead down. Bend your knees. Hold your ankles. 
and inhale lift your head up shoulders up legs up everything up try to stand on your abdomen and breathe Exhale down and go into Makarasana, hands on top of each other and face relaxing on the hands. Let go for a moment. Now Bring the hands on the ground, push with your hands, go into tabletop, Marjari or cat, and then bring your right knee in between your hands. The left leg, stretch back so that your hips come on the ground. Relax your shoulders, stay there. Then gently bring your elbow on the ground. Interlock your fingers, stay. A deeper stretch for your hips. Now if you want to give some more deeper stretch for your back as well, come back. Then gently bend your knee, you can use the hand to bend the knee, gently lift it up. And just take, take the hand in the way that you don't fall. And then if you can, rotate your chest forward and bring the hand close, to bring the leg close to the body. Chain the leg, go back into tabletop, bring your left leg between the hands, right leg stretch back, relax your shoulders. So at this point we are feeling onto the hips and on the back. Now let's go stretch the back. Okay. Stretch the hips further more by bringing your elbows on the ground into a few fingers. And come back. Bend the left knee close to your body. Interlock your foot against the elbow and go forwards. But if you can't bend your knees, okay, you can stretch the leg and do what we were doing just previously. Good. Release. Go back to tabletop. And now let's release any tension that we might have on the back. Check your hands under your shoulders, knee under your hips. Inhale, lift your head up. Arch your back. Compress your spine. Exhale. Hunch your back, stretch your back, bringing your chin towards the chest. Inhale up. Exhale down.
Inhale up. Exhale down. Back to the center. Now interlock your feet. Bring the hands slightly forward. Go forward and you're going to push your chest towards the ground. And up. You will do five times to build the upper arms to do headstand as we would do further. Let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this depends on your flexibility also. You might have to lift the leg if you need to. You can go ahead. For me, you don't need so I keep the leg down. But you can lift and do this because for some people, it might be easier by doing this way. Now sit down in Vajrasana. Close your eyes. Let go for a moment. And remember that this Vajrasana is only asana, only posture that we can practice after we have eaten. So even in yoga, we need to have four hours or at least two hours before uh, uh, after food but this asana is only the one that you can practice if you have just eaten that is good for digestion Bend your knees, grab the ankles if you can, if you can't bring the palm on the ground, but since I can grab my ankles, I will hold my ankles, then inhale, lift your hips up all the way, rotating your shoulders onto the ground, so as if you are standing onto your shoulders, chest comes up. Chin almost touches the chest. Once you are here, either you can stay here, and if you are not holding your ankles, you can interlock your fingers, push your head into the ground. Otherwise, if you are intermediate or advanced, you can go ahead, bring your hands under your back, or else keep interlocking your fingers on the ground. Exhale down. Stretch legs out. Shake them. And bend your knees. Inhale. Lift your head up. Touch your forehead to the knee. Head down. Bring the hands up, bring the leg on the ground once again. Full bridge. So beginners can skip this asana if you can't practice. You can watch it and then in the next upcoming classes you can practice it. Or else, if you know that you have done this before, go ahead and do it. And bring your hands under your shoulders. Then your hips, the feet are about hip wide open. Then push with your hands, lift halfway, adjust, and then lift all the way up. Bring your hands, adjust your hands, see where they feel the most comfortable, and lifting the heel up.
we must stay there or now if you know that you can do it you can now follow us exhale down stretch your legs out shake them and bend your knees hug your knees lift your head up touch your forehead to the knee head down let go of the left leg drop the right leg to the left look to the right twist Back to the center, change your leg, bend your left knee, drop your left knee to the right, look to the left, Back to the center, stretch your legs out, bring your hands up over your head, give a good stretch the body, even head and stretch, stretch, exhale and release, prepare for shoulder stand, feet together, hands by the side, use your core muscles to lift your both legs up, Push with your hands and elbows and lift your legs towards the ceiling, hips up, support your back with your hands. And don't worry if your body completely straight or not, just stay there. As soon as you are completely up, close your eyes, relax. Come out of the pose, lower your head down, bring the hands, keep, keep the hands supporting your hips and bringing them all the way down and bring the legs on the ground. Shake the legs, bring the hands under your body, palm together on the ground flat. And lift your hips up and lift your head up, look at your toes. Standing on your elbows, it's pretty comfortable. Then inhale, lift your chest up, drop your top of the head on the ground. Inhale, lift your head up and drop your body down. Let go, keep your part, hands apart. Let go for a moment and preparing in your head now for headstand.
come back, open your eyes, turn to your right, push with your hands, sit up, and we'll do this side. Come onto the onto this position, head stand, measure your hands so that it's not smaller or wider than this. Bring the elbows on the ground. Interlock your fingers. Now, let me show you first this part of the head goes on the ground. So neither forehead nor top of the head in the middle. This part of the head goes onto the ground. Interlock your fingers. Then bring that middle part of the head on the ground. Lift your hips up, walk forward, then lift one leg at a time, all the way up. Very slowly, you can do this asana also against the wall, so you are sure that you will not fall. Keep your shoulders down. Or pressing upward. Come out of the pose, bend your knees, bring the knee close to your chest, and then one leg at a time, very slowly using it for come down. Go into child pose. Stretching all the way up, forehead down. Then we sit up and roll onto your mat to relax, find a relaxation. Tavasana. So come onto the mat and lift your whole body up, tense, tense the body, tense, 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 and drop. One more time, tense your whole body, tense, 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 and drop. Let go. Mouth and I gently close. Preparing for gradual relaxation. Now bring your awareness onto your toes. Relax your toes. Now becoming aware. Relax your soles. Heels. Ankles. Feet, 
both legs. Relax. Relax your lower back. Center of the back. Upper back. Full of the spine. The shoulder blades. The whole back. Completely relaxed. Relax your shoulders, collarbones, chest, abdomen, the whole trunk. Relax. Relax your fingers. Arms. Wrists. Forearms. Elbows. Upper arms, armpits, both arms, relaxed. Relax your neck, throat. Face your muscles, forehead, sides of the head, back of the head, top of the head, the whole head, the whole body. Completely relax.
gently back into your body. Become aware of your body. Slowly move your toes, fingers, hands, legs. Bring your hands up overhead, give a really stretch the body, inhale, stretch, stretch. Exhale and release. Take your time when you're ready, sit up. quite deep or wide and become aware how the practice of yoga help us becoming more calm, peaceful and relaxed. Stress and anxiety relieves. And rub your palm together. And bring your hands onto your eyes, onto your face. Gently massage your face. Give thanks in prayer pose. Very slowly and gently open your eyes. Namaste.